Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 51. Well, good news. I have finally upgraded to 1.2.5 version of Minecraft. And all the mods that I use have also updated. So that's really, really good. Um, there are so many changes and so many new things that I'm not even going to bother trying to go through them. Um, just, there's a bunch of new stuff. Leave it at that. That said, I do want to mention that I added three little mods. Number one is the logistics pipes, which I actually think I can just bring them up here. Uh, set item, logist, yeah, yeah. I added logistics pipes because I think they're really cool, and this is a build craft add on. And I added in teleport pipes, which is also a build craft add on. And this is a chunk load block, it forces the chunks to stay loaded. This is just a teleport from IC2, but I've noticed a lot of the rarer stuff, like teleporters and my quantum suit, has yellow names. So I don't know whether that's a function of industrial craft or build craft or what it's a function of or Minecraft, whatever. I don't know. It's cool. And then finally, I added in the crafting table Mach 3 or just the crafting table 3 mod, which is crafted like that. And it's really cool, actually. What you do is you take that, like that, like that, grab a book, and you take a workbench, and bring up my portable workbench here, which, by the way, special thanks to Ross Black Dragon and DZ Creeper for updating that. And then it, you click it, and it tells you all the things that can be made with what you've currently got in your inventory. So, buttons and whatnot. And if I were to say grab not that that wood block there, then now it tells me I can build all this stuff, crops and whatnot. So it's basically supposed to be reminiscent of Terraria crafting, I think. So that's cool. Very useful. Also, I got the leaves. I don't know if this is a new feature or what, but I noticed that when I was using my chainsaw on these tree leaves that it was dropping leaf blocks instead of, I guess, not dropping anything. Incidentally, as you can see, I've left it for quite a while and this is all natural. It just naturally has grown this dense. So let me just quickly tear this all down. And it works because a tree will take down all tree blocks that are above it, that it's connected to, on any of the angles, including diagonal. And so with one fell swoop, because of the way I've set up this tree farm, all blocks are connected diagonally. And so as a result, in one single chop, it can take down the entire tree farm. So that's good. And then, as I was showing, you see, it's dropping leaf blocks instead of not dropping anything. So I don't know about that. I was also getting apples, which is useful. Because I've got so much gold that I can make golden apples. So I'm going to finish gathering up all this wood and getting rid of all these leaves and I'll resume the video. Okay, so I have completed chopping down all the trees and leaves, and I had quite a haul. Oh, startled me. Um, let's see, several stacks of saplings. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn that off and just get a fig. Um, and then put that there. All this.
this wood came from just those four, I guess, plots. So that is a lot of wood. So it'll be a nice good long time before I need wood again. So let's see. Dirt goes this chest. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna turn that off because that's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, much better. I turned off both lol. Okay, much better. I turned off both the door and the sound in the config, so now it will neither open the door or make a sound. Anyway, so as I was saying, I also made six apples, which I'm gonna leave in there for now, because they're that kind of rare, even if I can grow them. And I got lots of rails, lots of slime balls. Didn't get any slime balls from that slime I killed, whatever. Alright. Uh, right, so base tour stuff. I actually, while I'm on the topic of mods, I should mention that I dropped the Hidden Doors mod and the um, ID for the Hidden Doors is now something to do with Red Power, a backplane. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure, but I think Red Power actually added um, computers to the mods, so that will be interesting to see. To come up here and uh, grab some dirt. Didn't do that. There we go. Great. Now that's rather suspicious. There's a back plane at one, but not the other. Whatever. Close that up like that. Okay. <laughs> this secret tunnel goes right underneath the grass. Anyway, let's get back down here. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I think at some point I'll build a hidden piston door right here with the bookcases, which will be even cooler than the actual door that's invisible. Anyway, enough of that. Let's see, I think if I can sneak in here. If I just drop it like that, it should go away. And I guess they got burned up. Okay. Because I don't want to hang on to something that I technically shouldn't have. Alright. It looks like I got a bow from that skeleton, which is kind of interesting. That's rare drops for you. Where do I put it, I wonder? Um, I guess I'll put it right there. And the bone can go there. I don't know why, but I'm getting a, kind of a lighting bug where every so often a chest will be really lit up like that, but save and exiting and then reloading just fixes it, so whatever. Anyway. Okay, so that was all that. So now I need to come over here and talk a bit about this. You'll notice there's something kind of odd here. I'm not exactly sure why, but the advanced machines Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Have to fix that. The advanced machines add-on for industrial craft. Well, the machines, um, don't know why, but the texture got kind of messed up in that it showed their advanced machine block side texture, which is their side texture, you see, on all sides. But as you can see, a simple break replace fixes that. I already fixed that one over there. Alright, so there's that. I was, oh yeah, I need to grab my hoe here. Let me just quickly replant that wheat I stepped on. There we go. 
this is all still looking fine. And that's still all looking fine. Good. Okay, so now that's taken care of. I think the next thing is, oh yeah. So, as you can see, this chest is full of UU matter. And this chest is starting to get a good amount of UU matter in it. What happened was I've had these mass fabs running and I don't know, actually they've got not any that's strange. I thought I replaced all the uh retrievers or unless I missed one. I bet I missed one. Although it would have still kept working, I thought. Huh. Ah, here it is. Yeah. Retriever. Oh, this got turned around. Okay, there's the answer. So if I take this, grab my screwdriver, and turn it like that, and there goes the matter. Okay. Good. But yeah, that leads to another thing. I was going to mention this. All the Red Power 2 machines um, turned invisible. They still work, but they're all invisible, and you can see through the wall, and then when you break them, it, they become unnamed. And so, what I've been doing is I've been, I went through and I thought I'd gotten them all, but I was uh, TMIing replacements because obviously that's supposed that's clearly a bug. Uh, retriever right there. Thank you. Pop that down like that. And rotate it like so. There we go. That should do the trick. And then you'll notice I've got a wire going up there. Actually, I should tell that from the beginning. So let me go back to the beginning here. So what I did is I had it, I had the retriever pull all the cobblestone and dirt and gravel and so forth and send it to the recyclers. And I actually built a couple more recyclers. So I'm up to seven now. And it would it, the recyclers would recycle it and then the scrap would be pulled out by this retriever and put into these chests. And then this retriever would pull it out of these chests and send it through that pipe back to the mass fabs. And now that I remember this should actually be set like that. And that's how I had set it so that it would go to the chests and this would pull it out from the chests only. By painting that red and telling this to be black, it would do that. Anyway, so after that was done, then I went ahead and I got mobs out there. Set up the quarries. There are three quarries out in that direction and they've actually all finished. But for a while I had the quarries sending items through this pipe that then goes down into the floor and is here and then it would be pulled out through this retriever sent through this sorting machine which sorts like this yeah I have endstone and whatnot I, that was stuff where I, that was letting me dump stuff in here and have it get tossed in the recycler and then it sorts it out to all these chests and so my total haul for the operation was a stack and almost a stack and a half of diamond, three stacks and some bit of gold ore, that much uranium, that much lapis, and then the torch was just so it would put the torches there, any torches I, it picked up. Over here, I've got almost a full chest of coal. A full chest of tin ore, plus that much. A full chest of copper ore, plus that much. That much iron. Surprisingly, only that much iron. I, I guess it makes sense relative to everything else, but you'd think there'd be more of it. Cyan. Those two are actually not connected, but I connected it over here for obsidian. And then redstone. And flint. All the dirt, sand, well not sand, but dirt, cobblestone, and gravel, plus, obviously, 
in stone and frame got sent to the recyclers and then the recyclers recycled it turned it into scrap sent it through that retriever up that pipe and then all the way through the wall out into this chest and as you can see this chest is now empty because I've completely run out of scrap then that retriever I'm gonna turn off the music here that retriever will every time this timer pulses or I pull the lever pulls out a stack of scrap sends it through this pipe down into the mass fabs the mass fabs then you know sort through with the scrap now the way I've set it up is as you can see I've got this on a two second delay and what it'll do is after the third tick scrap would get stuck in this pipe because there'd be no room in the mass fabs and so it would go back into the item detector. The item detector is set to emit a constant redstone pulse if it's full so that if there's item stuff back into it it would send a signal down here stopping the timer until it's and thus stopping the rig the retriever from pulling more out until the mass fabs have worked through enough that there's no longer scrap in this pipe in which case it releases it and more comes through so it's very clever so yeah I think that was everything this um was because I was trying to have I needed to have a pipe underneath the mass fabs but I also wanted the ability to turn them off and have the torch and so I settled for having that which is alright it tells me whether it's on or off not quite as cool as having an actual torch there but it works that lever up there I don't think it actually does anything anymore at one point I guess I can pull it off the wall now at one point it was there to um because originally I had a build stone build stone build craft set up to pull the mass the matter out but and then at the time that lever was what turned it on and off but I ended up phasing that out in favor of the red power method anyway so I think that's everything the only thing left to mention is that I've been noticing that I've been getting a lot of lag whenever I was recording because I've been doing a bit of test recording before I started and I was noticing that I get a fair amount of lag um, and right now I'm actually running at like 13 14 frames per second and it's not even loading which is probably a good thing so I'm not going to pause and let it load it goes down to bedrock as you can see it's starting to load yeah it's getting there but it um it was causing it to lag really hard because there's just so much it has to render but it's doing alright right now and that's the important thing I'm actually thinking that improvements in 1.2.5 have, in have enabled it to be faster and better because back when this was still 1.1 I think that slime just killed itself back when this was still 1.1 it was lagging to the point of unplayability when I was recording but now I'm actually getting more frames per second out here and I don't want stuff spawning up here so let me put some torches down <laughs> anyway so that's good as you can see these quarries are only separated by a thin wall at this point I need to um, go through and pull the frames down but I haven't bothered to do that yet I also at some point will need to um, extend the wall out a little bit this way this is the final wall but I need to get rid of this area here and I don't want creepers Wow, two creepers. It's a little creeper party down here. Don't know how you got here. 
totally lit up. Probably spawned somewhere less lit up and then came to join the party. Anyway. Get back up here. Alright. So that's the basic idea. That pump pumps water to that engine and that engine and then this long redstone wire or red power redstone wire it goes from all the way from there all the way down to there and it powers all the engines and then I've got the um, industrial craft power going through and so yeah it's it's a basic setup nothing too fancy alright so there's all that I think that's everything I got gold pipes you saw I got gold pipes along the way in there and, and in this chest I've got a bunch of miscellaneous pipes and stuff from when I was building some f and some frames it looks like so let me just grab those and toss them in there to demonstrate so they go up there they get painted black which is the color of scrap and then they go through like so and then they come out this way and then they go into the first recycler it's actually really fun to watch all seven of them you know churning through lots of rock and stuff so I'll make sure to get footage of it later once I get the quarries up and running again because I've only all these quarries have been running and I've only dug out about half the area imagine this whole thing dug out on that side as well so it's quite a ways to go oh good scrap so you see the scrap comes out goes in here yeah. looks like it just went into the chest so fast yeah it goes right it gets painted black goes into the chest and then it gets pulled right back out again by that retriever And then it takes a while because it has to go at you know that slow speed, but eventually it'll go out through there, and it'll eventually get all the way to the mass fabs. So, yep, see here it goes right there, gets to the chest, and then it comes right back out there, goes down. It's only one little piece, a couple pieces, so it's not going to do very much. But you get the idea. Okay, so that's really. Cool. So now, also in this update, because Red Power is updated, um, electric, I think. Uh, oh, I can't spell electricity, but one of these things. Or is it just blue? There we go. Blue electric alloy furnace created like that, and it runs off electricity, and it's an alloy furnace. The only problem is that my cable's over there, so I have to run a cable all the way over here to it. And the second problem is that I don't actually have enough bricks for it, and I don't think I can just destroy this and like put it in an out put it in here or something. So for the time being, I'm going to leave it as is. Later on, I suspect I will find a bunch of coal or not coal, clay because I'm going to because I'm about to go exploring. So, there's that. Now, about the doggy talents mod. There's actually a new tier of dog now called dire doggies and because right now my dogs do that and let's, let me grab a stick here do I have any wood no I don't have any wood on me why would I have wood on me okay grab a stick what okay that was not funny What just happened? What just happened? How in the world did that 
what I I am speechless. Um. Um. Good grief! Oh. Wow. Okay. Um. Um. Wow. I. I have nothing to say. Um. Okay. Um. Security breach. Alert security. Um. Wow. Y yeah. O okay. Uh. <laughs> um. Alright, I guess I will rebuild here. Um, in the meantime, while I... At least my dragon egg is safe. Um. Hmm. Okay, so question. Has this happened before? Because I have a strong sense of deja vu that this has happened to me once before. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, point is, I am going to recover. And I am not even going to lose my sentence. So... Doggy Talents mod has updated to now include dire doggies and man, that was a mess. Um, what do I even do here? All right, I need to start. Please don't hit me. Um, dire doggies, and what dire doggies are are basically the next tier up of dogs from um. I don't want that. I need to put a block down here. From ordinary dogs. And the way you get dire doggies is by putting a dog inside an ender portal or an end portal and then right clicking on them with a dragon egg. The dragon egg is not consumed and but the end portal is and then it consumes the end portal and your dog becomes a dire doggy, and then you can train it up from there. Now, dire doggies are extremely powerful, and because you can get them up to a much higher level, then you can. Um, I'm trying to think and talk here at the same time, but because you can get them to a much higher level, you can get them a lot more skills than you would be able to get a dog normally. So you could have, for example, all the wolf mount skills, but also, say, um, all the attack dog skills. That kind of thing. Mostly, I have to act fast here because if I go too slow, then this stuff will start despawning. So I gotta be quick. Fortunately, I have a nice, dedicated—well, not dedicated, but a nice, steady, um, uh, organizational pattern. So it won't be too hard for me to get all this stuff put back together. I had string and feathers and spider eyes in this chest. What's the main? Oh yeah, doggy talent stuff too. And food. That's what I had in this chest. Right. Okay. Food and doggy talent stuff. So I don't think I actually had this stuff in here. No, they were in the bone chest. Right, okay. I have seeds. Like so. Melons and stuff like that. That goes there. Throw bone goes there. Bones. String. Feathers. Spider eyes. Steak goes in there. So. Huh. Okay. It looks like 
some of the stuff has despawned. Yeah, that looks like a bunch of stuff despawned. <laughs> That's not supposed to be there. Uh, huh. Well, that's both very annoying, not good, and utterly and completely unacceptable. So as funny as it was, um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to, uh, hmm, now I have a question. Do I want to revert to an earlier save, which I could do? Or do I want to just go review the video footage and TMI everything back in? Hmm, tempted to revert to your save, but I've already done it. Yeah, I think I'll just TMI everything in. Alright, give me a few minutes here. Okay, so I've recovered, I think. As you can see, this chest is back to normal. I put a stack of wood on the um, smelter to smelt the charcoal. And this chest is back to the way it was. This chest is back to the way it was. I heard that Enderman. And this chest, it just had bones and stuff in it. So, I figured, eh. I didn't have a video record of it, and I didn't feel like going back to... back when I had a video record of it, so... It's just bones and whatnot, and bones are cheap. I think I'm... I didn't go for exact. I think I'm probably off a bit in terms of having just a bit more or less smooth stone or wood or whatever, but meh. I'm not trying for exact. I just wanted to quickly get back into where I was and respawn a new set of armor, that kind of thing. Okay. So, yes, I went to Peaceful while I did that, and as you can see, I've relit the area up with more torches. I don't know what happened, and that really is creeping me out. Oh, there you are. I mean, I'd really like to know why my base just does not seem to be very secure. <laughs> I mean, it's really making me nervous here. I mean, I've said all along, if Enderman can spawn in my base, what else? And now we have a literal creeper blow up my base? And now we've got a skeleton! Okay, this is not good. Where are they spawning? There's nowhere for them to spawn! Well, anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so like I was trying to say several minutes ago, I'm going to go out and explore. Because, as far as I understand this, you get three strongholds per world. And ideally, there are end portals in each. So... The obvious logic is that since I still am going to need access to the end for time to time trips for stuff like, and well, basically the only thing they have is ender pearls, then I figured the logic is to make two dire dogs and leave a third end portal untouched for transit to the end. 
And so that is what I am going to do right after I end this episode. Because this episode has probably gone on for a good amount of time. And so I think I will stop this episode here. And next episode, I will jump on my wolf and we will go out and explore. And hopefully find some strongholds. See you then.